This is the plasma membrane of a cell. The plasma membrane has LDL receptor. The LDL receptor is abbreviated as LDLR. The LDL particle is present in the exterior medium of the cell. The LDL particle has a phospholipid monolayer. An APOB protein is embedded in the phospholipid monolayer of LDL particle. APOB stands for apolipoprotein B. During the endocytosis of LDL, first of all, the cell surface LDL receptor binds to the APOB protein of the LDL particle. The cytosolic tail of LDL receptor has the NPXY sorting signal. The cytosolic AP2 complex then interacts with the NPXY sorting signal of LDLR. Like the first AP2 complex, other AP2 complexes also incorporates to the plasma membrane and forms the first coat. The cytosolic clathrin protein also forms a coat next to the first AP2 complex coat. The coated plasma membrane containing LDL particle LDLR complex then invaginates to form a pocket-like structure. The coated pocket-like structure containing LDL particle LDLR complex then pinches off from the plasma membrane and is released to the cytosol. This is the coated vesicle or endocytic vesicle. The clathrin coat is then shed. The AP2 complex coat is then shed. The uncoated endocytic vesicle is now called as Yarli endosom. The Yarli endosom containing LDL particle LDLR complex then fuses with the membrane of cytosolic late endosome. The inner pH of late endosome is 5.0. This acidic pH causes a conformational change in LDLR. As a result, LDL particle is released from the LDLR. The late endosome then fuses with the cytosolic lysosome. As a result, the LDL particle is transferred into the lysosome. In the next step, the proteases and cholesterol esterases in the lysosome hydrolyze the apolipoproteins and cholesterol esters of the LDL particle respectively. Due to this hydrolysis, amino acids cholesterol and fatty acids are formed. The cholesterols then leave the lysosome and are used in the synthesis of membranes or various cholesterol derivatives. A vesicle containing LDLR then bursts from the late endosome. The fully formed vesicle containing the LDLR is then released from the late endosome to the cytosol. The cytosolic vesicle containing LDLR then fuses with another region of plasma membrane and undergoes exocytosis. At the neutral pH of the exterior medium of the cell that is pH 7.0, the LDLR undergoes a conformational change. Another LDL particle in the exterior medium then binds to the cell surface LDLR with changed conformation. In NPXY sorting signal, the NPXY stands for asparagine, proline, X, tyrosine. Here, X is equal to any amino acid. The NPXY residues are evolutionarily conserved. Please like, subscribe and share.